my name is Sonnet and this October I have the privilege to participate in a month long collaboration with k, &K Crochet, The Spoonie Stitcher, Critters Crochet, and Gwen's Fired Crochet. The Decade Divas Party is just that. It's a party, a celebration, where we use fiber and textiles to create a project inspired by five different decades. I will be making one project each week inspired by that week's decade. The Decade Divas Party is going strong and we are continuing on with the next decade, which is the 1950s. The 1950s is hosted by Shannon the Spoonie Stitcher, so definitely go check out her video and see what 1950s inspired projects she created. There were so many things I could have picked for the 1950s. However, I wanted to keep it kind of spooky because it is the month of October, so I decided to crochet up one of my favorite villains of all time. She is the mistress of all evil from 1959's Sleeping Beauty. Yes, I crocheted Maleficent. Holy cow, this project, wow. <laughs> this is a pattern by Aquari Pool. So this pattern is known as the Black Witch pattern. She's technically a fairy, but that's okay. <laughs> so if you are over on Etsy trying to find this one, you will need to go to a Quarry Wolf's shop or to search in Etsy Black Witch Crochet and she should pop up. She doesn't pop up if you look up Maleficent, but yeah, just wanted to let you know. I bought this pattern. This was one of the very first patterns I ever purchased when I started making Amigurumi and it, took me a while to finally make her. And holy cow, I think she's incredible. Now I had it in my head that this pattern was going to be the fastest and smallest project I was going to make this month. And she actually turned out to be the opposite. She's one of the longest ones and she turned out to be one of the biggest projects that I made. So let this be a lesson. Be sure you read the pattern before you start. I would have known how big she was going to turn out if I just kind of glanced at the pattern and looked at the yarn suggested as well as the stitch counts for some of the head there. <laughs> Since I did use a worsted weight yarn, she turned out pretty gigantuan, but I love her regardless. Aquari Wool's patterns are really wonderful. They are a little bit more, I don't want to say advanced, but definitely more deep detailed and I do believe they use a lighter weight yarn to make all of their amigurumi so if you are making any of their patterns with worsted weight or chunky or anything like that the patterns are going to eat up a lot of yarn and they're going to be pretty big and she is super cute I love Maleficent she has always been one of my favorite villains I've never seen any of the Maleficent movies but she is iconic when it comes to 1959's Sleeping Beauty and yeah here we have her here's Maleficent oh my gosh so fun but that's it for the 1950s tell me what do you think of when you think of the 1950s thank you for joining me definitely be sure to check out Shannon the Spoonie Stitcher she is the host for this week so definitely check out her video to see what she created and please do check out the other Decade Divas which is K&K &K Crochet, Critters Crochet as well as Gwen Spired Crochet that's all I have to say about that I will see you again next week I love you so much Stay villainous, and I will see you all a little later. Bye.